Welcome back to GearWire.com. This is the Roland Juno D, a uh, 63 key and extremely light but large synthesizer. It's big enough so that you can really get on there and kind of, you know, just wail on the keys. But then again, you can also, uh, very easy to carry around to gigs in a gig bag, very light. You could, uh, you know, carry it on your shoulder if you want. Juno D, a keyboard that really is in a class of its own. It's a step above things like the Micron and the Microcorg, and its purpose is completely different than those. It really doesn't have a, um, there aren't many price competitors for this one because it's so much lower than something like a Phantom in terms of its price point. Uh, it's a very affordable keyboard, especially if you're more of a player and you want realistic sounds. And it has this 88 key keyboard, which is amazing. It's you know a very well sampled keyboard. Also, if you go under organs, they actually have John Lord's organ in here. From uh, you may remember John Lord from Deep Purple. If I go over here, uh, we have the Juno D organs. If we go to keyboard 39, we have Purple B, which you'll notice over here, it says featuring new sounds, John Lord's rock organ. And also it says uh, incredible new electric piano, which I'm not sure which one that is specifically. I'm sure in the manual it says if it's the vintage, there's a vintage EP. But there's a variety of other keyboards in here too. There's a Wurlitzer. We've got an 80s electric piano. You go through, there's a variety of different patches. There's a piano section, keyboard section, guitar. Orchestra, we have strings here. And you scroll through, you'll see there are a bunch of different strings, more dance-oriented strings. Again, orchestra, more of like a full orchestra sound. If I go over here, we have world instruments, like a kalimba, tin whistle, synth patches, which are all right for doing any type of electronic stuff. And those can be controlled with the cutoff and resonance filters over here. We also have a variety of basses. And those can be also used with the arpeggiator. And also there's a rhythm section, which uh, can be played on its own. So that's performance mode. We'll get into editing that in a little bit. There's also parameters, effects, utility, right, octave up and down. Chord memory. And here it's traditional major, it could also be minor. There's also a tap tempo control on the right here, so I can tap how fast the phrase goes. We have patch modify controls, which control attack, decay, sustain, and release. Turn off my phrase. 
go back to a regular patch and switch over to orchestral. It's my attack. I can adjust decay. Release. We can also go to our cutoff and resonance and control those. We also have LFO, so I can turn on LFO here and then switch this over to balance slash LFO and it'll allow me to adjust LFO rate and depth. And I can adjust balance between the upper and lower. It seems like the D-beam is on every Roland product these days, and this is actually pretty useful. Some people really don't consider what you can use this for, but it's assignable to any parameter on the synth. Here I have release time set. So that's a pretty easy way to use the D-beam to control your patch modify section. Uh, for now though, let's move on to programming.